Understanding and protecting tenant rights is a huge part of owning rental properties. However, laws that regulate rentals or address tenant rights can vary widely. As a result, you may find policies that heavily favor the landlord or tenant, but rarely is it an even balance. Today, we'll go over the Biden administration's blueprint for renter's bill of rights and what it could mean for landlords and tenants going forward. Nearly 35% of the U.S. population lives in rental housing. However, laws regulating rental properties, landlords, and tenants vary widely. Unfortunately, this has led to unfair policies and standards for both landlords and tenants in certain states. In January 2023, the Biden administration released a blueprint for renter's bill of rights. While it's not an official policy, the Biden administration's blueprint for renter's bill of rights is a white paper that identifies five basic principles and best practices that the administration believes would help even out the state and local laws. The goal, if implemented, is to help reduce tenant exploitation, create a more equitable rental market, and help ensure fair housing practices everywhere. Interested in learning more about what's important to investors, property managers, and tenants? Well, hey there, it's Alyssa from Bay Property Management Group. Just a quick pause in the video as a reminder to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on the latest videos with new content uploaded weekly. We appreciate your support, and now back to the video. Renters' rights have gained more attention recently, and one of the main concerns of many tenants is the rising cost of rent. While the blueprint doesn't directly address this issue, it does focus on unlawful or unfair practices within rental housing. The proposed Renters' Bill of Rights aims to create a fair and equal environment for every renter. It seeks to address the differences in landlord-tenant laws across states and aims to provide relief to renters in areas where landlord-friendly laws are more prominent. Essentially, the Blueprint for Renters' Bill of Rights covers five basic principles of guaranteeing fair and safe housing for all renters. Here's what you can find throughout the document. Access to safe, quality, accessible, and affordable housing. The first principle talks about the safety, affordability, and habitability of rental housing. It emphasizes that renters should not pay more than 30% of their household income on housing costs, and any rent increases should be reasonable, fair, and transparent. Another point is that the rental properties must meet habitability standards and be free of health and safety hazards like mold or lead. Owners must also provide the amenities and services promised in the lease agreement or advertisements to fill their obligations to tenants. Finally, this principle states that owners must implement fair and equal tenant screening practices to ensure equal opportunities for all prospective renters. Additionally, it should not be overly difficult for renters to apply for or receive housing aid. Clear and fair leases. The next principle focuses on lease agreements, stating that contracts between tenants and landlords should be fair with clearly defined terms, responsibilities, and rights. Leases should be written in clear, simple, and accessible language to ensure renters understand both their rights and responsibilities. There should be no mandatory arbitration clauses, hidden fees, or unfair practices, and policies regarding security deposits should be transparent. Additionally, it emphasizes that landlords must give reasonable notice before entering the rental unit or making significant changes to it. Education, Enforcement, and Enhancement of Rights Next up, the blueprint emphasizes the role of federal, state, and local governments in protecting renters' rights and educating them about their legal protections. It urges governments to enforce fair housing laws and regulations to prevent discrimination and exclusion in all forms. Additionally, it pushes governments at all levels to ensure renters are aware of their rights under existing laws, like the Fair Housing Act and other housing regulations. The right to organize. This principle emphasizes renters' rights to organize without interference from housing providers like landlords or property managers. It advocates for protections against harassment or eviction threats for those who choose to organize. Additionally, it stresses the importance of renters knowing their landlords or property managers and having a straightforward way to communicate with them when needed. Eviction Prevention, Diversion, and Relief The last principle focuses on the importance of landlords using fair and legal eviction procedures. To prevent unfair or unjustified actions, it states that all evictions should have a just or good cause. Additionally, it highlights the need for alternatives to the eviction system and aims to prevent evictions by providing renters with access to resources, fair legal processes, and measures to avoid housing instability in the future. So what does all of this mean going forward? Currently, the Renters' Bill of Rights is not law, and none of the actions throughout it are mandatory for policymakers to follow, at least not yet. But many of these proposed principles are common practice for reputable landlords and property managers already. 
For expert insights on a variety of rental industry topics, check back in for weekly video uploads, and don't forget to hit the notification bell for exclusive updates. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. We will see you in the next video.